what up YouTube Alex? Coming back at you with another YouTube video. As you can tell, today we are doing something a little bit different. We are playing Baldur's Gate 3. This will not be a StarCraft 2 video. I just bought this webcam today, so I'm super stoked to try it out. What we're going to be doing is playing an honor run patch 6. I believe it's patch 6 of Baldur's Gate 3 just released, and I've been meaning to play an honor run. I tried an honor run one time, and I died right after the tutorial, and that was it. For those of you who are not familiar with an honor run, it's a one life run on hard mode, so it's going to be crazy. We're doing this as a chaotic evil character. We're, we're going murder hobo. We're gonna do everything evil that we can possibly do. We're playing the Dark Urge, and for those of you who have not played the Dark Urge for Baldur's Gate 3, I won't give you any spoilers of what this is what i will tell you is the dark urge is a character that you can fully customize the only thing you can't choose is your background so our background is the haunted one basically we have an evil past and we do not know why so i'm playing a bard tiefling because i think it will be hilarious we're gonna be like a charismatic psychopath so Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, the only time I played an honor run, I died right after the tutorial. And uh, courtesy of ChatGPT, we are Vespera Nightshade. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, and I totally forgot. Okay, we're going to randomize this. Um, I'm not going to tell you why. It just It doesn't matter too much. Okay, you know what? Okay, we made, uh, we made a clown gnome. So uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and venture forth. Oh, yes. Uh, I will not skip this cinematic. There was a cinematic before this that I did skip. It's easy to look up, but it was uh, it was going to take away from the flow of the video. And I actually haven't seen this cinematic in quite a while. I, I haven't even started a new Baldur's Gate 3 game. I don't know. It's been some months now. Man, this cinematic is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Okay, you know, you'd think that they would have a rope going all the way down the tower for this exact situation, but apparently not. Straight up War of the World style, too. <laughs> now, I have my own theories for what's going on on the Nautiloid, which is that flying ship. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, just in case you're not familiar, but uh, I have my own theories of what's going on in this situation. And as we progress through this series, I'll let you know what I, exactly what I think is going on right here. A little bit courtesy of Reddit and uh, what I already expected. But man, the animations and the dragons, dude. Absolute badassery. I mean, he knew that the dragon was gonna pick him up. And the reason I skipped the first cinematic is because I think it was like six minutes or something like that. It's pretty easy, pretty easy to look up. Uh, or I might just, uh, in editing, put it in front of the video. My game minimized, so there might have been a bit of a skip. There's Lazelle. If you're not familiar with her, we'll be familiar with her shortly. She's one of the first characters. Actually, no, she is the first character that we meet. Minor spoiler, I suppose, but you meet her in the tutorial. It's uh, it's really 
not too crazy, not too important, but man, those animations, dude, that's absolutely sick. Can't go wrong with a Dungeons and Dragons style dragon. Are you kidding me? Or maybe this, maybe this cinematic was six minutes. I can't remember to be honest. But yes, this is going to be a full commentary gameplay uh, series. I almost said video series, but video as well. These cinematics are easy to find though on YouTube. I just prefer a commentary, it's something different. But these demons, it's insane. I think we're in Vernus. I don't know. I don't know exactly. I think there's different layers of hell in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, to be honest, before Baldur's Gate 3, I really didn't know much about Dungeons and Dragons, except for the Legend of uh, Drizzt, or Drizzt. Uh, crazy dark elf warrior that uh, is a, it's a great series. I highly recommend it. Anyway, like I said, we're going for the full murder hobo chaotic evil playthrough. Uh, I purposefully made my character look kind of like a zombie because I, I just think she looks badass. Uh, admittedly, the bard outfit doesn't work, but psychopaths hide in plain sight. She could be a serial killer, man. I mean, the blood in your head thrums you know. and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. I How I'll you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull. Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. And I'll try not to talk through the actual dialogue. Uh, gameplay, obviously, I'm going to be talking. But since this is a very narrative-driven game, uh, we're not going to talk through the dialogue. Just for my completionists out there. And by the way, I did play an evil run once before, but not as the Dark Urge. So you're going to see me cringing a lot because a, <laughs> an evil playthrough is hard to play in Baldur's Gate 3. They really make you feel like an asshole. So we're going to curse whoever did, th did this to us. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. Naturally, naturally. And unfortunately, I have work <sighs> after this. So this gameplay video will be about an hour long. We'll see. We'll see. Once I edit it, it might be a little bit shorter. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, she sounds evil too, her voice, man. Okay, so here we go. What we got going on. So this is a restoration kind of situation. We do not need that right now. And I've never actually played um, a bard. <laughs> so this looks like a cantrip. Uh, I don't know, actually. Enchantment cantrip. Okay. Because I, I don't want to use all my spell slots right away. I mean, we'll be able to heal during the tutorial, but this is high stakes because once we die, if our team gets killed, uh, that's it. And we have to start all over, and I am determined to complete an honor run playthrough. All right, let's see what's going on here. I already know what's happening, but for those of you, uh, for those of you guys who do not know... The way she walks is kind of evil, too. I don't know, man. She just seems evil to me. You see that? The way she's moving, yes. dude? You've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. All right. Exposed brain quivers we have good perception. That's nice. Please. Before they return. They return. Okay. Uh, let's see... Obviously, we're not talking to a man. We're talking to a brain. I'm not going to... Well, actually, I don't think we really know what this is technically, or we, we won't know. But this is... Uh, this is... Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. So I'm just going to say... The enemy. Number three. So many enemies. A newborn. Who am I talking to, man or Born brain? From this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. There we go. We found out. The mind flayers who abducted you. Wow, I look so evil, bro. Uh, we're going to destroy the brain. Uh, like I said, chaotic evil. Yes, we could maybe do something to our, our advantage here. But uh, no, we're going we're gonna to destroy the brain. Super evil. We don't give a shit. Okay, I don't think that was technically evil. The method was a little bit questionable. 
to say the least. Oh boy, all right, so uh, anyway. Wait, can we loot him? Oh, we can actually. Let's see what he might have. Nothing, he has literally nothing. Also, I feel like every time I play this game, I think I had three playthroughs. I only completed it once, uh, but I got to act three, I think three times actually, and I've missed things every single playthrough. This game is just absolutely ridiculous in terms of its scope. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and keep going through this tutorial. Nothing to worry about yet. And look at that. We get a good view of the hells. Kinda. Well, not right now. She does. We don't. Lazelle, she's a badass. She's kind of... Abomination. This is your end. She's kind of got a spicy personality. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing. A silver sword. And a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? You are no thrall. Flakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. All right. What well, What are we gonna say? Let's uh, Let's just ask her who, who, who she I? is. Your only chance of survival. See what I mean? She's kind of spicy. All right. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed. Our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. All right, that doesn't sound very fun. So, uh, let's see. What, do, what does she suggest? First, we exterminate the Ents. Then we find the Helm and take control of the ship. Sounds like a good plan. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. I just think it's so funny that I'm a bard and I'm evil. Like, my outfit does not look evil, bro. <laughs> At all. Okay. But the reason I chose a bard is because apparently they're good at casting and they're also good at melee. Uh, do I even have any melee weapons? Wait a minute. What do I have? I literally don't have a weapon. Okay, that's great. I mean, I have, I have a crossbow. Um, okay, what is this? This is... Uh, okay, this takes a spell slot, but this does a ton of damage already. For level 1, 3 to 18 damage is actually ridiculous. So, uh, what else do we got? Let's uh, let's just do Vicious Mockery on this thing. It's not going to kill it. Alright. I may also look up, like, uh, multi-classing the Bard. That might be pretty interesting. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Because it would be really cool to use actual weapons. Okay, look. We're... Oh, wait. Okay, that was Lazelle. I only have 9 HP. Okay. What is this? Okay, I can perform and delight those around me. I don't think we need to do that right now. We're not going to delight anybody right now. Uh, oh, I can heal. That's interesting. Okay. The last class I played was a Paladin, and they're so OP, man. Like, they're ridiculous. Let's uh, vicious monster this. Okay, that kind of, that's kind of hitting poisonous necrotic appendage. Man. Okay, the fighter obviously just doing ridiculous damage. Uh, okay, let's see what this imp does. And there is a restoration shrine. I don't think it's technically called a shrine, but there's a restoration thing. So uh, we don't have to worry too much. How much is, does my bow do? Okay, my bow actually does a decent amount of damage. Three to eight, so it's... Better than Vicious Mockery, but Vicious Mockery uh, creates a disadvantage on the next attack roll. So, Shouldn't if you're not familiar with... More interesting times. My, voice my, sound, my voice sounds so evil. Anyway, if you're not familiar with D&D rules, disadvantage basically means they roll twice and they take their smallest roll. And advantage is the opposite. They take their highest roll out of two rolls. I feel better. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. Okay, you know what? Oh, that sword actually does more damage. I wonder if I'm proficient in this or not. I'm definitely not not proficient. Okay, nice. So we got ourselves a weapon. That's actually pretty sick. Okay. I really don't know what the balance is for the uh, for the bard. I really don't know if uh, 
it's ideal to not use melee attacks because each attack you do cause uh costs an action and there might be a situation where uh we just have cantrips that are better than our weapons for example we have produced flame which is actually pretty good because it creates light and then we can throw it so anyway we'll see i to be honest i didn't really look up the bard but i heard the bard is really fun i think i saw like a best of video for uh baldur's gate 3 and the bard was ranked number three in classes obviously well, I shouldn't say obviously, but the Paladin was number one. And uh, let me just say, my Paladin on my uh, my main playthrough right now uh, can one-shot things that have like 100 plus health. It's actually ridiculous. Anyway, here we go. So what do we have here? We have... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. So these buttons either kill them or in this case, apparently made them hostile. So let's uh, vicious mockery this guy. <laughs> Okay, Vicious Mockery is pretty funny. Okay, fine. So, Lazelle, she'll probably one-shot one -shot this thing. Nice, nice. So, now we just have one more. Right now, it's not too high stakes. But, like I said, right after the tutorial, my first engagement, I died. Okay, that wasn't great. But, uh, we're fine. Nice. Lazelle is really good. Okay. I don't have her my uh, party on my main playthrough right now. Uh, she left. I won't tell you why, just in case, uh, you know, you're afraid of spoilers. And here we go. Shadow Bay. Shadow Heart. The heartthrob of everybody who plays this game. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Okay, see, here's the thing. The chaotic evil uh, in me would just leave. We don't even have an option to leave, though. Wait! That can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. But the thing is, we also might have power in numbers right now. Nah, screw it, dude. We don't give a shit. We're evil. Let's see what Let's this leave. does. Oh, no. See, the issue with, like, playing, role-playing chaotic evil is, uh... We are nearing the helm. Wait, there's actually Look one inside. thing I want to pick up. Do as I say. Um... Is, uh, the one thing with playing chaotic evil is I feel like I'm going to put myself at a disadvantage in this game. Okay, so I want to pick up this, uh, reliquary. Pick up at to wears and also i have a theory of what i can use this dark mind for i haven't tried it yet but it is in a while so i'm not gonna give it away just in case you guys don't know either oh man i really want free shadow heart though oh, but we can't we're evil we're evil dude oh nothing hurts anymore so we're just gonna go for it I kind of know what happens if you don't save her, uh, just from uh, what I've heard. But we don't, we don't give a shit, bro. We're with the dark urge, dude. Man. You almost feel bad for him. Do it. We will deal with the gate after we escape. Okay, so one thing I will tell you, because we're here right now, you see this sword that this demon is using? We can actually kill him and pick it up. Or pick it up, not pick him up. We can pick the sword up. And uh it's a really good sword, but playing on the difficulty and the stakes that we're playing at, I think we're gonna skip that. So what we'll do first is um you know what? I wonder if I can one-shot him. Oh, I can. Nice. So that did cost a spell slot, but... Oh, what does this do, actually? Okay, let's uh, Bardic Inspiration Lazel. A bard has inspired you. New bonuses have been added to your reactions list. Okay, so what the Bardic Inspiration does, from what I'm reading, is it adds a 1d6 bonus 
to their next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Nice. But we have 15 turns to get to the transponder, which is over here, basically on the other side of the map. Uh, but we may as well kill the imps or the, the demon spawn on, on our way. Uh, because like I said, high stakes. If our team gets killed, that's it. Game over and we have to redo this. And I am I am going to make this a series. <laughs> but uh, we're going to try and just get through it. I think we can one-shot the end. I, I think we can. Nope, we definitely can't. Uh, okay, can I perform? Nah, let's not do that right now. Okay. Can laser all jump? No. But what we can do is we can dash. So, if you haven't played Baldur's Gate 3, dashing will let us move double, but we can't attack. So, there we go. My nose is itchy, man. I think I got allergies, which I shouldn't. It's in the middle of winter, technically speaking. I'm gonna kill this, come on. All right, nice. Also gives us XP. I don't wanna get too close to that demon because then, or, or that cambion, I guess, technically. Um, I'm so tempted to go for it. That sword would be so sick. But he's level eight and we're level one. No, we're not gonna do it, we're not gonna do it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and dash. How far can we jump? Oh, we can get really far. I hope I didn't lose my turn from that. Oh, no. Okay, so she jumps. Oh, wow. She's surrounded now, though. Wait a minute. Oh, the Mind Flayer's almost dead. Yo, okay. Uh, what can I do? Maybe Vicious Mockery. This guy. Pernicious, putrefying Okay, Vicious Mockery is pretty hilarious. Okay, so that's going to provoke two opportunity attacks, but uh, Lazelle may go down if we do this. We're going to do it. Survive. Oh, she's lived. Let's go. Okay. We made it. We made it. game pros for a sec, but we're still chilling. We're cruising. Move my cursor off of her face. Yo. So one other thing as the Dark Urge is if we can't before I think we take anybody in our party, uh, we get a little bit of a background. Not too much. Not that it gives anything away necessarily, but it's, uh, it's cool lore. And I am a completionist, so we're going to do that because I missed that last time. I played a good Dark Urge. Actually, my main playthrough is good Dark Urge, so I haven't actually played an evil Dark Urge. I'm already dreading what evil stuff I have to do. For those of you who have played Baldur's Gate, you know what I'm talking about uh, for Act 1. There's three acts in Baldur's Gate, and there's a pretty crazy decision that you can make in, uh, in Act 1. And that Mind Flayer, I'm not going to say anything, but I, I have theories about the Nautiloid. Like I said, man. Nice. Okay. You 
you half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Okay, so I think we still find Shadowheart on the beach. Maybe I'm wrong, but I want to camp before that. Or is she gone? Because <laughs> we didn't save her. Okay, maybe we don't find Shadowheart on the Something beach. Good here, I hope. Oh boy, okay, seven gold, I'll take that. So what we'll do first is uh, we're going to camp right away. This is something that I feel like most players would never do. You drink in oh wait, after, corpse. after Since this Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs with your hands close to this body. You know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Let's uh, let's try to remember last time we stood over a corpse. That's not morbid. All right, we made it. <laughs> 12, all right. As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. The perfect evil character, there is by the way. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart okay so something that players i feel like would never do is just camp immediately and i think this gives us some lore so it's just going to be us at camp nobody else which is absolutely <laughs> like totally unfamiliar to me man uh i don't have enough camp supplies but we don't need camp supplies right now so we're just going to go ahead and sleep oh, we have we have camp supplies but Oh, we need 80? Yo, wait a minute. Do we need 80 because we're on, we're on hard mode? Usually it's 40. Whatever, partial rest, doesn't matter. As you writhe with sickly dreams, a deep dread floods you. Though you have a tadpole, you know your broken mind is not like the others who bear the worm. A few scraps of the past come back to you now and then. You can never quite tell where the knowledge comes from. Inexplicable, violent yearnings overwhelm all other thoughts. Who could you possibly be to be their vessel? You see what I mean? Who would think to do this this early in the game? All right, so we have some options. Think upon our heritage. Is it tr is there truth hidden there? Contemplate your craft. Why do you have the skills you do? Well, it kind of makes sense. A bard, charismatic kind of undercover psychopath it makes sense uh unless you're uh publicly <laughs> a menace to society all right uh what thought stands out the most actually no no we're chaotic evil we're death itself or herself there are many many more kills ahead of you that is you a killer you recall waking up hearing the pounding war drum of blood how much you treasured the sight of the first corpse you touched. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we can be like, oh, let's resist resist the urge. This is for, like, role-playing purposes, right? Uh, let's lean deeper into it. We're Your chaotic body evil. body feels aroused, imagining a broken, twisted neck and a thrill thinking of a trailing intestine. Hopefully this doesn't get As demonetized. These images flood your mind. You fall soundly asleep like a babe in arms. Amazing. Blood. <laughs> blood. 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 Look. I didn't ask for this life. She was born that way, literally, obviously. <sighs> Okay, so where I died, let's uh, let's leave camp, is right after this. There were two uh, two intellect devourers, uh, these things, except alive, and they uh, totally wrecked me. I didn't even have a chance to move. I rolled last on, initi on initiative, and they just killed me. So what we're going to do, because this is actually high stakes now, I can't just save scum. 
Oh, What's bucket of inside? fish. And I also, I also feel like I have to collect all the food I can because apparently they double the amount of resources you need. So not only, not only do we only have one life, we need double the resources to get a full rest. So that's great. Oh, there's Shadow Heart. She's alive. I want to have a word. I actually haven't had this interaction before because I have to save her every time. Blast it, Dora! What? Stop! Not another step or I'll... Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. Totally. At least you made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees, feel what she feels. We made the effort, yeah. Confusion. Totally did that. And a hint of gratitude. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do. In your head. We totally didn't just bail, right? We're getting, like, gaslit into being a good person. We're not doing that in this playthrough. We're, okay, look. We're gonna do chaotic evil... But for, I don't know, narrative purposes, I'm not just going to murder Hobo, the uh, the actual, like, companions. But everybody else is fair game. I just, I don't know. I feel like it would be as fun, to be honest. But uh, let's see. Uh, so I haven't had this interaction before. Let's see what we want to say. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let's do that one. Come on. The chase through hell. The creatures. What they did to us. The tadpoles. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. But I feel fine, all things considered. Are you sure? I'm sure enough. This is how the mind flayers breed. We host their spawn, and once they're ready, they'll tear right through us. I'm not sure how much time we have left, but I'm not going to wait to find out. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. Okay, let's see. Uh, I doubt this is the entrance. You could look elsewhere. What you're making is a racket. It already has. These things here didn't die in their sleep. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. Oh, so she killed them? All right, let's see. So it'd be nice to have a hand. From what I can see, it looks like you can handle yourself just fine. Do you know if anyone else survived the crash? Okay, I'm just going to say it seems like you can handle yourself just fine. Chaotic evil likes to have power, right? I think. For now. But I'd rather get out of here than keep testing my metal against these things. Alliances have been made unless I can use your help. Do you know if anyone survived? Okay, fine. Let's let's or take just her. just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. Look the way she's standing. You can call me Shadowheart. Something tells me I'm the Dark Urge. I'm Vespera Nightshade. Let's make haste. Your name is unusual. It is unusual. Her name is After unusual, bro. After everything you've been through, my name gives you pause. Please. Oh, yeah. How did she end up on the ship? That is none of your business. I suggest we concentrate on surviving. Because that's actually something I don't know. I uh, I have some theories on that as well. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm Vespero. Okay, cool. So we have a... Uh, we're still level one, bro. Okay. So let us continue... This is where I died. These things oh, killed me, things. but I was alone because I didn't find Shadow Heart. Because <laughs> I didn't walk far enough. I just walked up here. Okay. And see, they rolled initiative like this, and I'm probably going to get one shot. Look. Look. Okay. Okay. We're still in. We're still in it. Uh... I also don't want to use all my spell slots, but I feel like I probably should. What? What? Okay. We're going to use uh, Dissonant Whispers on this one. It's frightened. That's great. Okay, and... Please don't kill me, bro. Dash. Okay, so if they dash, we're fine. 
And, you know, I know this isn't StarCraft, but it still kind of feels like a strategy game. I love these kinds of games, honestly. Uh, what we're going to do is, do we want to heal? Or do we want a Guiding Bolt? Guiding Bolt does a lot of damage, too. But I feel like it's not going to do... Like, okay, if it one-shots him... Yo, okay, that was worth it. That was worth it. And uh, Healing Word is actually a bonus action. Nice. My only concern is... It's actually really good that I healed. Okay, okay. Yo, uh... Vicious mockery maybe Listen, on this one. You sit, you Saved. Okay. We're gonna drink a potion. We actually have to be really, really efficient. Uh, let's, uh, Sacred Flame, is that what that is? That's fine. This is our first engagement out of the tutorial. Bro. Okay, at least, uh, that, okay. Please die. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's flourish. Bonus action. See see what damage we can do. Concentrate. Okay, I think we're good. We fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. I'm ready. We could Whatever short rest. Actually, we probably should short rest. Oh my god. I can keep going a little longer now. I assume Shadowheart also has a pack. Okay, she does, but I don't want to use camp supplies yet, That's dude. Good. Okay, so what we'll do is probably pick up Astarian and then probably pick up Lazel. And since I have to go to work, maybe we'll call that episode one of this series. But we'll see. I still have some time. Okay, so we got a Void Bulb, which I think is like a thing that you can throw. It does one damage, apparently. I uh, actually didn't read all of what it does. What else does it do? Throw this alien bulb at a target and possibly pull in nearby object. Oh, so it's like a black hole, kind of. Okay. What's over here? I don't think this is where Astarian is. I think this is kind of where we came from, actually. What's up here? Maybe Astarian's up there. Okay, let's go up this way. Man. I haven't played Act 1 in a minute, dude. But we survived. A fight with three intellect devourers. I feel like the intellect devourers do a lot of damage, though, for what they are. Okay, so we have a pod which was broken. I think a starion came out of this pod. Oh, yep, there he is. I should speak up. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others. Okay, see, so I can say easily stand back. I feel like that's the chaotic... Okay, I'll say it's the chaotic evil thing to do because we're kind of, like, up our own asses, you know? <laughs> what can I say? Of course yeah. I can kill it, bruh. Can you see it? Even though the bard, I guess, is technically intelligent, so we're... I mean, we sh it's pretty obvious a starion is, uh... Just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a, of a dagger. dagger. <laughs> One more step, I'll make you eat you that knife. try. But first you'll tell me what you know. I saw you on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? Uh, I mean... It's pretty obvious. It's the Mind Flayer Worm. I'm not going to say we have no idea. We know what it is. Of course. That We're not dumb. things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Number two. Can't blame you. <laughs> A kindred spirit. See? My name's Astarian. Charismatic. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Do you know what? I like it. Pleasure. I like Astarian. So, do you Who know doesn't? anything about I these guess. worms? Uh, actually, I do. They will turn us into mind to... players. <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. 
Okay, let's see. Yeah, our odds, our you know, <laughs> our odds are I better together. I was ready together. to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. Damn straight. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. All right, we leveled up. So let's see. The Bard is the one I'm the least familiar with because it's one of the only classes. It's one of a couple classes, I think, that uh, are not part of the origin characters. So let's see. So we got class features. We have a jack of all trades. Your vast experiences make you more likely to succeed in any undertaking. Add half your proficiency bonus rounded down to ability checks that you are not proficient in. That's pretty interesting. And we get a spell. So, what do we have? Cure wounds. What do we already have? Can I see? Ah, whatever. Because we had some other one. Uh, let's see. Animal friendship. We have speak with animals, which is pretty fun, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Fairy fires. Ah, uh, it's all right. Um, cure wounds. We do have shadow heart, who's kind of a healer. Let's do speak with animals or thun ah, speak with animals or thunder wave. Nah, speak with animals. Eh, eh, do we... Yeah, speak with animals. Okay. <laughs> Opens up a lot of dialogue options. Okay, cleric level two. So she'll have a turn undead, which is actually really good. Because I think it's an AoE, so all the undead around her take damage and run away. It's actually insane. And then, of course, we have a uh, cunning action hide, which is a bonus sneak action. Astarian is a uh, rogue. So, fine. Pretty easy level up. But that's nice. Now we have more health. Never quiet. From what I was told, the honor run is really hard up until level 5, and then it starts to get easier. Also, I'm really curious. What does perform do? Apparently, you can make money like this. Do we get a buff? Always shop. No, I don't All think right. so. What now? All right, that was that was great. Okay, so <laughs> if not over, then through. If not over, then through. There, a mind flare, and it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Last time I kissed it and I died. Because we're doing an honor run, we're not we're not going to do that. Although it, w it would be the chaotic thing to do, let's be honest. Making out with a mind flayer. I mean, you know, I'm not going to cake shame or whatever, but uh <laughs> Why would you do that, bro? That it's so obviously a trap. Okay, uh yeah, we should be furious. Yes, you feel hate. Number three. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Okay, intelligence. So jack of all trades plus one from intelligence that's that's pretty cool that's a really cool feature of the bard they're kind of like good at everything and guidance from uh shadow heart which is a cantrip so we can just use that whenever we want that was close we almost didn't make that your mind's views lusting for something that is gone but then its grip claws back with a vengeance a vice locking your mind into obedience it needs sustenance to survive and with your very body, you can provide. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, we actually have to make a saving roll. Kind of. I think this is a saving roll because if we fail this wisdom check, uh, it's a pretty easy wisdom check. Um, then I think we have to kiss it, right? The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Okay. 
No, let's close his eyes forever. Chaotic. We could leave it to die slowly. I feel like that's less chaotic evil and more like lawful evil. Where you're like, oh, let's make him suffer and feel the consequence. Monster. Death is too good for it. I also want to take uh, take its loot. <laughs> okay, so I think Lazelle's around here somewhere. So let's look around to make sure we're not missing anything. I am a completionist. I mean, there's always something hidden in these games. Okay, so I think we want to go up this way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, Shadowheart. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. I think I know what happens here. It looks slightly dangerous. Yeah, we'll touch it. Look. A hand? Anyone? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fantasize. We're not gonna actually cut his hand off. We're just gonna think about it. We're just thinking about it. This branch of flesh is begging to be pruned, and its sap sucked from. As soon as the dreams cross okay. the threshold of your imagination, you snap back to realize they have all come true. Yo! <laughs> I didn't Just think it was actually going to happen. Aren't you? Starion liked it. Through you. you were dazed on the Nautiloid, but now you are truly awake. Alive. No way. No way. What inspiration I got his hand? No. Okay, I thought there might be some sort of like quest line about this because uh that was a, a possible companion we could have had through the whole game and we just cut his hand off. I didn't think that was going to actually happen. I genuinely did not know that was going to happen, dude. Okay, let's see what Asarian has to say about that. Huh. You look rabid. Pained. Sick. Oh, my game froze. You're spasming and twitching. You poor thing. Yeah, let's say number one. I have almost no memory from before I awoke on the Nautiloid. Hmm. So far, my tadpole and I have been nothing but best friends. Something else is happening to you, isn't it? I guess so. You have bouts of swooning and swaying, and your jaw is grinding like you're poised to chew off your tongue. Mm. <laughs> Do take care of yourself. We're a mess. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll talk to Starian later about himself. Let's see if uh, Shadowheart has anything to say about what we just did. Astarian's an interesting find. She literally does not hope care, any bro. Hope future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. Sure. Okay, we'll talk to her later as well. I have to go to work. I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, we, I assume, killed Gale. It doesn't say that we killed him, but we do have his hand. I wonder if we can actually meet him later. Uh, because he's kind of an important character. Kind of. I guess not necessarily mandatory in this game. Anyway, I don't know, man. If you enjoyed what you saw, please shoot me a like and subscribe. I will be making this a series, the chaotic evil on the run of Baldur's Gate 3. I am super stoked to be taking you guys along on this journey. And I'll see you on the next one.